Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and tonight I'm with Dad, um, and Dad is going to be recording us create some kind of wreath. <laughs> so we just threw things on our table a few minutes ago. I think it's going to turn out really pretty. Not sure though, uh, but we're going to do kind of one of my favorite techniques, uh, but we are going to be using two ribbons today, two different size ribbons. So um, this was the first ribbon I've chosen, and it's going to match our flowers beautifully. And the second ribbon I wanted to work in was this one. And I've used this over the last several days, and I decided, you know what, we're not going to use this tonight. So I peered over behind my dad, we were talking for a minute, and I look to the left of him, and I have a box full of spring ribbons, which, um, you know, there's just certain boxes that I don't dive into, and I don't know why, but I gotta start going through them, which is something we're gonna be working on in the new uh, year. Yeah. Uh, in the next few days, the shop is going to kind of be destroyed. A mess, destroyed. Well, don't say a mess, because dad, it's already a complete, <laughs> utter mess. Uh, so I saw this in the corner of my eye, and that's gonna be the combo we're using today. So look at how pretty that looks. Give some hearts if you guys like that. This is a flannel ribbon. And another question I get asked too is how do I store my ribbons? So you're never gonna wanna just take your uh, your roll of ribbon and store it like this. Cause what ends up happening is the ends kind of get you know, ruined, especially, I mean, this ribbon would be fine, uh, but lots of ribbons would not be okay doing that. So we just use corsage pins or floral pins. And I have hundreds of them because we used to do a lot of uh, proms. We used to do a lot of fresh corsages, uh, boutonnieres and all things like that. Um, so we have tons and tons of floral pins. So we're going to be using both of these ribbons. We have a two and a half inch and a one and a half inch. We're going to start with the two and a half inch. So as you come in, let us know where you're watching from. We always find it fascinating uh, to know that people can be from all parts of the world. Hi, everyone. Once again, thanks for tuning in and watching us. Yes, thank you. And we hope you all had a wonderful day today. Let us know if you did anything fun or exciting. Um, we just worked. We filmed three video, or two videos today. This is our third. Uh, we created a beautiful Valentine's Day wreath, which uh, I love. I wish I wish I didn't list it dead because I think it's so nice. And we probably should start putting up some wreaths on our front door. What do you think? We probably uh, should. We yep. probably should. But uh, yeah, it's very pretty. We also created. Uh, I'm not going to give it away because you guys will see tomorrow what we created. Uh, but we're just creating a, a funky bow, doing two ribbons. We have a one and a half inch, and we also have a two and a half inch. I want that to be a little bit longer. Um, and this is one of my favorite bow techniques because it looks so pretty. Uh, one of my favorite ways of using ribbit. Okay. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a very, very plain and boring person when it comes to, you know, products. I know that sounds kind of crazy, uh, but you definitely can tell. I don't love using things with lots of sayings, uh, or, you know, prints and stuff like that. I love just simple prints. Um, and dad, if you look around in all of our ribbon boxes, don't we have just so many solids or just stripes? Yeah. Like well, very basic types of ribbons, but I think it looks really nice together when you do it that way. So, um, what I would recommend for doing this ribbon or this bow is actually to do what we're doing tonight, which is a solid and then one kind of fancier print. So we have a gingham and we're just going to continue repeating this pattern over and over again until we have our desired amount of loops, which in today's case should be three of each if we have enough on our rolls, which we should. But we used this ribbon the other night in a live. Uh, Dad, do you remember where we used this ribbon? Which video it was? <laughs> I honestly don't remember. I think it was the mesh wreath. Wasn't it the mesh wreath? With the purple circle sign in the middle? Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, that's what we used it. I yeah. think that's what we used this with. Uh, time's a blur, you guys. Things are a blur. Every day's a blur. <laughs> every, every day's a blur. Thank you for the stars, everyone. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, who's excited for 2021? You know, no matter how... The whole world is excited for 2021. <laughs> no matter how crummy this year is or any year, uh, it could be the best year. Just I think fresh starts are so nice, you know, uh, or at least trying to stick to a fresh start. I know we kind of all fall back into our, our little routines, but, you know, set a goal for yourself this year. And for all of you that are business owners, drop a comment down below. I'm very intrigued to know what your goal for 2021 is. It's going to be 2021, Dad. I was born in 98. Does it feel like 98 was like yesterday for you, Dad? Yeah, it certainly does it, still to me. Does. I still consider you guys my little babies. Oh, you'll always, think it, you'll always think that way though, right? Yeah. All right, so our final piece of ribbon, one final loop, and then we can add some tails to the back of this bow. Dovetail. Get, well, get well quick, Nelda. Sorry, Nick. Yes, get well Nelda, quick. I hope you're feeling better. So that's what we got so far. Notice the grip I have on my bow. So this is this is how I hold my ribbons, you guys. Like 
Imagine just saying, okay, you know, you say, okay, that's the amount of force that I have on my fingers. Nick does not give it a death grip. I don't. And what would happen if you did, Dad? Do you know what would happen? Well, your hands would get tired after a while. Your hands would hurt. And then I figure over years, it will definitely tear your hands apart and you'll develop issues. So don't hold a super tight grip. Uh, Trust me on that. Even though I'm 22 years old, I have felt the pain in my hands when I have slightly tighter grips on my bows. So be careful. Deborah says, can't wait for 2021. My goal is to find a husband. All I can say to that is be careful. You might get what you wish for. Look at dad making a dad joke, right? All right. Someone said your dad should be on the radio. I missed that comment. Oh, well. You'll I'll have to look later. I'll go it. back and find it. He'll go back and Thank find you. it, you guys. All right. So we're going to take a pipe cleaner now and secure it. Again, not a tight grip on my bow. The tighter you hold it, the worse your hands will be over time. And it's just not necessary. I think the tighter you hold it to, the more your bow is going to kind of give you issues. So yep. just a loose grip. It doesn't have to look beautiful at this point. That is the reason we fluff. Fluffing is the most important step. You guys have heard me say that time and time again, and it still holds true. I'm a firm believer in fluffing your, your bows. So just quickly dovetail that. You want to show off some of the floral products we're going to be yes, using? Yes, sir. Today? So we have some paper flowers, which we don't often use, but I think today it's going to look really nice. Uh, we also have some uh, foliage. We have some ferns. We have some of this dainty flower right here. So uh, this will be an indoor wreath then, right, Nick, with the paper flowers in? Not necessarily. No? You know, if, if the customer, I mean, I'll, I'll let them know that it has paper flowers in it. Uh, but if the customer only wants a wreath for a year or two, this wreath will be perfectly fine. Uh, nothing will really happen to it. Um, but anything longer than that, it is, it's not paper, it's felt. So just think of felt and the longevity of felt. But if you do keep it indoors, it should last a very, very, very long time. Yes, it's lavender, not gray, yeah? Yes, lavender. I mean, it kind of has that dusty gray look, the foliage, kind of like Dusty Miller or Lamb's Ear. And we popped in live showing the new uh, wreath, the Valentine's Day wreath. We popped in live here, but we also popped in live on uh, in Nick's exclusive wreath community, and I was so excited. I mean, you got to watch the replay, Dad. I just talk in circles because I was so excited. Mm -hmm. um, in 2021, we are going to start kind of a flower uh, or foliage of the day or the week. I'm not quite sure how we're going to kind of format that yet. Uh, but since I was little, I'd say about three or four, I've started memorizing flowers, kind of their patterns and their growth habits and all sorts of things like that. Uh, so we're going to kind of do a 101 on flowers, which I'm very, very excited about. Uh, I mean, it always shows when you're passionate about something when you start talking about it, right? That's right. Uh, so, I mean, I'm very excited to teach my members how you know, flowers work, what kind of flowers to match together. Cause I know a lot of people struggle with what kind of greenery or flowers to use in their reeds. Um, so I talked a little bit about this earlier, but one tip I'll give you guys too, is the easiest way, especially if you're not sure what you're doing is to, you know, purchase the foliage that kind of matches the flowers. So for instance, rose flowers, uh, you know their foliage. I'm pretty sure you know what it looks like too, right, Dad? Just the leaves off a of rose. Yeah. Um, so use rose flower, uh, rose foliage if you're, you know, designing with roses or, you know, peony leaves if you're working with peonies. So I think that made sense, but I'm very excited. So again, if you guys don't mind spreading this video around, let's see if we can reach a thousand viewers tonight. That would be incredible. Ruth Brantley says, hello, Nick and Steve. Love the purple and green. Ruth, I do too. I, was, I wasn't I was sure at first, but they do look nice together. They, they really do. do. Look they? at that. Yeah, what a nice contrast. It is. I think it's the perfect sign of spring too. Right? And it can't get here quick enough. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, how many people are telling us not to rush it, Dad? I know, but the cold weather after a while, it's freezing again today. Yeah, today not as bad as yesterday, but cold again. Today's still cold though. All right. That's what we got so far. And as always, we can trim up any tails that are too long or just, you know, unsightly. Uh, you can always take away. You can't really add to lengthen your tail. So keep that in mind when you're designing. Well, let's start with our foliage. That bow looks good on camera, though. I'll say that much. Yeah, it looks nice, yeah. So we're going to work in some of this. This is kind of a softer fern. Uh, we have another fern here, too, but I think we're going to use this. This was $8 or $9 or $10, $8 from Hobby Lobby. We're going to break it down into smaller pieces. We don't need such long pieces. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Richard. Thank Hi, everyone. Jeff. Thanks Rich. again for tuning in. Thank you, guys. I hope you're all having a great day today. A productive day. That's what we need to hear. So I got up early this morning, guys, and I went to Jacobson Floral in Boston just to shop around while Nick was still sleeping. <laughs> he, did. he woke me up and he goes, Nick, I'm going to Jacobson. You need anything? That's funny because I would have <laughs> never expected to hear my dad traveling into the city 
uh, to just, you know, shop for me. He wanted to get some Christmas supplies. I wasn't waking up at the time he woke up. Slim pickings, um, everyone. Slim pickings. Yeah, that goes without saying. Every place is just crazy sold out. It's not even funny. Um, but Dad picked out some supplies, and he did a rather good job. Actually, Yaya was the one that held him back today. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. Yaya knows how to pick good products and stuff like this. But Yaya is just a unique soul in the sense that she'll sit there and say, buy one, try it out. If you like more, come back. You can't do that anymore. You know, in 2020, yeah. if there's something you want, you snag it or else you'll never find it again. So needless to say, I will be going there tomorrow morning again. <laughs> we'll be getting some stuff that Yaya told him not to get more of, which I ended up liking. But um, dad's gotten a lot more confident choosing out things that he knows I'll love, uh, which in previous years, he hasn't been too great about that. So he's <laughs> definitely stepped up his game. Right, wouldn't you say? Yeah. You know what I like now. They had no greenery, no flowers, though. It was Everywhere. Yeah, disappointing, but Everywhere. I still had fun. I like walking around looking at stuff. All right, so just working in some of this fern. But what do you guys think of that so far? I think that's a pretty combo with the, the beautiful purple and the beautiful green. Work some down below. One thing, too, I can tell you guys is whenever you're placing greenery or flowers, make sure that you tie it in throughout the entire wreath. Never just take a piece and place it on top and not consider you know placing pieces underneath because underneath is just as important as placing things uh, above. Nancy said she was researching all day trying to start a, a business, a floral business. Well, good luck. I missed the rest of the message, Nancy. I'm sorry. It was just the, these messages to go too fast for me, but... Congratulations. Yeah, Nancy. that's awesome. That's that's I'm very happy awesome. to hear about that. We love expanding our community and I think our community is not to toot our own horns, but we have one of the best communities we definitely, in yeah. industries because everybody is so kind, everybody is so helpful. Um, you know, it's not really there's no such thing as competition. There really isn't. Uh, if somebody likes your design better than mine, all the power to you. I'm very happy for you. You know, that's kind of my philosophy. And we all have such different styles too, right? Yeah. There's no two designers out here that create the same things or even similar things, really. We all have such different, you know, you can always see kind of, you know, it, it's all in the final touches more than anything. Deb Smith got a glue skillet. Yay. Awesome, Deb. <laughs> You're going to love it. You're not going back to a glue gun, that's for sure. Does Nick sell what he makes? Yes. Yes. So we sell them in our Etsy shop. Uh, our reads do sell rather fast, so if there is something that you are interested in, I do recommend snagging it. Uh, we're going ahead with 2021, doing the same thing that we've done this year, which is pretty much, not everything, but pretty much create one-of-a-kind pieces and not really, you know, duplicate anything. Uh, there are a few exceptions. I'm not sure what they'll be this year, but, you know, we always have a few exceptions. But, like, for instance, this wreath, we're only going to be able to do one. I'm not going to be able to do multiples of it. Philip says, Nick, I like the fern. Where did you purchase it? Do you know where you got the fern, yes, Nick? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Yep. Hobby Lobby. All right, so we've added a little bit of our fern. And I think that's shaping up nicely so far. And as I said, we can trim up those tails later on, but I'm not too worried about that at this point in time. Maybe we'll just work in this and not any of the paper flowers. I think that might be enough. Yeah. So this is a very pretty purple. It matches very nicely. And we actually used this on a happy Easter wreath. So for those of you that are members, that video will be out tonight. Uh, that video and hopefully the full floral grapevine wreath. Regina and Martha said, hi, Nick and Dad. Hi, everyone. Hi, Regina and Martha. Thank you for tuning in. So right here, right now, what I want you guys to do uh, for all of you that are small business owners, doesn't necessarily have to be wreath making, but anything kind of hands-on and kind of crafty, uh, feel free and I encourage you to comment down below your links. I've had so much fun looking at all of your pages and checking out all of you know, your talents because you guys are incredibly talented and you blow me away with each and every design you create. Uh, so comment down below a link to your page. It's your time to shine. And I look forward to seeing every everybody's posts. All right. So just working in some of these pretty purple flowers. I love these. Hi, Penny. She says, hey, Nick and Pops. <laughs> Pops. Hey, Penny. Uh, me and actually my best friend Skylar were talking about this a few weeks ago. Um, and dad thought it was so funny, but you know how people, like we all call each other, like our parents, our grandparents, such different things, you know, uh, like we call yaya yaya, but like, I know lots of people are like, what the heck is a yaya? <laughs> uh, we call you dad. And I think that's pretty standard. Yeah. Uh, but I know a lot of people that, you know, call their dad pop. Um, me and Skylar made a joke, peepaw. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, there's just, it's so funny knowing how many different, you know, names people have. You know? Yep, it's like true. There's nanas and nanas and all sorts of things. Okay, so just working in more of this. We're going to have to add a few pieces of fern down below too, I think. 
Yeah, that purple looks nice in it. What do you guys think of that? It's looking really good. You like it? I love it. Thank you, Dan. Like I said, I wasn't sure I was going to like the green with it, but I, I really like it. It's really well, you're nice. You're the one that grabbed the roll, so if you didn't like it, I would have ended up blaming you. It looks really nice, Nick. No, I like that, too. I think that purple looks nice with the green. It's very springy, wouldn't you say? Yep. I think it's very springy. So, you know, there's always a, a time and place to add products in, you guys. You can quickly take a beautiful wreath to something overwhelming. Uh, so my philosophy is always less and is more. If you're ever unsure, my biggest tip for you is to hold off on adding it. Go grab a snack. Um, go to the bathroom. Go get the mail. Pet your dog. Come back to your project. It'll still be there waiting for you. And there might be something different that you want to, you know, change about it uh, or whatever. You know, Dad? Yep. Debbie says you are the best bow maker ever and your wreaths are awesome too. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's sweet. So um, with our bows, I mean, I'm a perfectionist by nature, but I feel like over the last few years, I've really, really kind of swayed away from that. Uh, I don't know if it's a timing thing or whatever, but, you know, perfection is, I think imperfect wreaths are 10 times prettier than sitting there trying to get every single piece perfect. I'm not talking about fluffing, so don't get me wrong, but I'm saying like, you know how two colors are side by side or whatever. I used to really worry about stuff like that uh, when I first started out. And over the years, I just, I haven't. And I think it just still turns out just as nice. So let's work in a few more pieces of this because we have them and I'm not going to save them. So we have three that will work in. But I hope you guys are liking this so far. A very simple wreath. Not overly complicated at all. And this bush was $7.99 as well. That's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. Okay. So I have one final piece, which I'm going to place. Can you guess where my placement will be, Deb? Let's see how well you know me. One final piece? Yes. Where would my final piece be, Deb? Or you guys can let me know, too. Where would I place my final piece? I feel like I'm on Blue's Clues sometimes. You know when they used to ask, like, where, or, Dor or, Dor or Dora, you know how she used to yeah. ask, like, where would the bow? something be? No. I mean, sort of. I place one more piece right here. See how it's kind of lagging? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, like I said earlier, you always want to make sure that if you place something, like, above your bow, always kind of circulate around. That's one of the, the most important things because, you know, I see lots of designs that, you know, have big, long tails like this with nothing underneath it, and it just it looks unfinished to me. So, you know. Well, I was you, close. I said in the bow, I was under the bow. <laughs> kind, of, kind of, kind of close. I think we have enough in the heart of our bow. So, I'm not sure if we need anything else. What do you think of that? I don't know. I love it. What do you guys think? Anything else in this design? Or is it pretty enough? Simple enough? I think I have a glue string on my face. Or <laughs> glitter. We didn't even work with glitter today, but there's still glitter everywhere. Because all that stuff I bought was glitter. And you'll look at the rest. Dad bought a lot of glitter today. So to fluff the tails, you can do a couple of different things. You can curl them up. You can just have them cascade down below. You can dovetail them. If you curl them up, I don't recommend dovetailing it. It just makes it a little bit more complicated. Um... But yeah, I think that turned out pretty. Place it over there, <laughs> under the bow. Okay, Richard, you know. When you are finished, may I see your pick machine? So Anna... Um, Where is it? Right yes. here. So I'll show it out here. You'll Let me pull it up? Okay. Okay. There we go. This thing it's heavy. <laughs> That's the pick machine. That's the pick machine. And I get very little use out of it. Um, in comparison to a lot of under, uh, other designers. Um, I don't use this that frequently, but we do use it. I feel like I used it within the last week or so. Not positive on that. Um, I don't just... I, I, it's a I, great tool, but not 100% necessary. Yeah, it's That's not... That's the, well, the best way to describe it. Yeah, yeah. At all. It's not something I would necessarily recommend. You can definitely get by without it. If I can get by without it making so many reads, and you guys make a lot of reads too, you don't need it. Um, but it does make it useful. I think lots of designers do just you know, use the pick machine, as do I, for the sake of having a pick machine. Um, but I've always kind of gotten away without using it. It's always like the last thing on my mind. Yeah. Uh, but when I need it, I use it. Uh, but if I didn't have it, there's really no way I would need it, you know. It's not something I would have to have. Um, but another key point, too, is make sure the back of your reeds are clean, you guys. Whenever I stick a stem in, I don't have one to show you guys. Let's see. So, for instance, this right here. When you stick a stem in, don't poke it through the wreath like that and then bend it. Uh, I do see some people do that. Always take your stems and angle them in. And in doing so, you have nothing sticking out the back. Uh, so you always want to keep your reeds as clean as possible. Uh, that way, you A, don't scratch your customer's door or your door or their wall. 
and B, it just saves yourself a little bit more time and the hassle of not having to, you know, clean it up. So here is tonight's project, you guys. What do you think of that? I don't think we need to add anything else. Maybe one spray of this, or do you think we're all set? A lot of people said it's beautiful the way it is. I don't think we need anything else. I no, think, I think if it we added good. anything else, it'll just become too bulky. So let's do a recap. We use two leftover rolls of ribbon. Uh, which makes my heart happy, Dad. I love using leftovers. I know. Um, it's, it's a shame to waste anything. If you is, can use it, use it. I mean, not waste. I, I just don't like having a bunch of... I'd rather have new rolls sitting around than partial rolls. So two used rolls of ribbon. We used one bush of this purple flower. We used one, spray, uh, one bush of the fern. And that's it. One pipe cleaner and one 18-inch grapevine wreath. And you can do this technique for any season, any holiday... Here we have a roll of ribbon, but imagine this is a sign, right? You can place your sign here. Yep. You can place your sign here. You can place a circle sign sticking out here. There's so many different ways to design wreaths. So if this video has been helpful to you, I would appreciate a like and a share. It lets us know that you like these videos uh, and hopefully we've inspired you uh, and we love to inspire. So the more people that let us know, the happier we feel and the more accomplished we feel. So thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Oh, yeah, that's the Happy Easter wreath with the purple. <laughs> yeah, they wanted, they wanted me to zoom um, in, but just close so I can get yes, from the thing. So I see lots of members in the comment section. That is the tutorial that will be out tonight. Uh, after this video, we are going to edit that. Uh, and we actually used the purple flowers. So we had a few extra pieces off of one spray that we put into this wreath. So, again, thank you all so much. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram. We have all social medias, but those are the three we primarily use. Subscribe to our email list at nextseasonalrecord.com, and you'll be alerted the next time Nick's Exclusive Wreath Community opens back up and I'll see you all tomorrow night on New Year's. Uh, I might, I might see you tomorrow night. We might have a pre-recorded video. I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, tomorrow's going to be kind of a busy day, but with that being said, I hope you all have a great, great New Year's Eve, a uh, great New Year's day. And if I don't see you live tomorrow night, I hope you guys, I'll see you next year. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I'll see you guys next year, maybe. Uh, but if not, maybe we'll pop up live earlier in the day. So thank you guys again. Here's tonight's project. I hope you loved it and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone. Good night, everyone, and thanks again for the stars. We love Thank you guys. You. Good night.